what's up guys welcome back to lion mark tv mark here with another exciting no not really exciting i won't call this exciting because i'm a true fan of the cubana brand and as a youth i love to see growth and i love to see people live beyond the minimum lifestyle africa has put us into and a lot of you have been saying this thing that obi kubana flaunting too many too much wealth in the internet will actually lead him into trouble very soon and well maybe i should say those of you who have been saying this might say to finally it has happened but others might say yes this is what you've been saying anyway there's this article that has been trending on punch the whole the whole day for like over an hour now about him being arrested for money laundering i'm just going to read out the article to you guys and um, i'll be sharing some of the the clip from by punch here on the video so guys it says efcc arrest obi kubana for money laundering tax fraud popular socialites and business obi kubana Obi Nainyebu, aka Obi Kubana, has been arrested by the Economy and Financial Crime Commission for money laundering. The Anambra Bond Club owner, who arrived at the headquarters of the EFCC at Jabi, Abuja, at about noon on Monday, is currently being interrogated by operative of the commission. Though the allegations against the socialites were sketchy as of press time, a source disclosed that his case is bordered on alleged money laundering and tax fraud the source said obi kubana was arrested and brought to the efcc headquarters on monday afternoon over allegation of money laundering and tax fraud he's being grilled by detective as we speak the efcc spokesman wilson owu jaran said he has yet been brief on the development obi kubana made headline in july yeah we all know he made a headline in july and that drove a whole lot of eyebrow by the government a lot of you advice about the excessive um flaunt of wealth but this is the problem we have in africa and we should all accept it at this time of our life because this whole thing is getting out of hand most of the life people are living in nigeria living in Lekki, living in ikoyi living in the banana island are just majority lifestyle compared to what people are actually living in the us in australia in germany in canada and other bigger countries of the world so why would someone who is hardworking, he sleeps i f permit me to say i follow this guy for like almost every day and i if i can dictate he sleeps not less than five hours a day chasing money back to back flying air jets while the same people who are actually crucifying him might be sitting at their houses and saying all manner of nonsense this is complete nonsense to me so far as i'm concerned anyway i'll be sharing with you a video of obi kubana and um, chico and they were in abuja they had a wonderful time in the nightclub there in abuja he concluded a deal with um, a, a new a new brand drink at uh, laurel nigeria with uh, the kubana brand and they celebrated the whole party this i'm um, this one i'm saying is as at sunday night splash monday night when this news is coming out anyway guys enjoy the video drop a comment telling me your thoughts in the comment section
country is really getting out of hand things are not really working as they are supposed to be well we now we are about to get into the reality why we are seeing the struggle of our dear leader um mazin namdekano fighting for the indigenous people of biafra though we don't know what biafra holds for because when you say the other side you should also say the other side as well because you might end up having biafra and not see what you really expect because at the end of the day these same people stay in nigeria a corrupt land the leaders who are shooting and killing in the east just to make the election ha be successful in andamra today they are also in this same nigeria so what's the difference that tomorrow if we have this biafra things might be better i'm not supporting nigeria and i'm not supporting biafra and i'm just trying to be honest here and i that's exactly what we all have to open our eyes and see what do we what are we really fighting for are we fighting for the right cost or are we not really fighting for the right cost anyway drop out in the comment section share your thoughts if there's any updates about this video i'm going to update you guys here on the video see you guys on my next video